my palms are so sweaty right now. It is intense. My palms are so, so sweaty right now. Hello, Lost Acolyte here. Star Wars has just dropped a new trailer for a new Star Wars game called Star Wars Eclipse. I'm super excited to, you know, get stuck in because I don't think anyone was really expecting them to release uh, a new trailer or a new information on a new game anytime soon. Um, I was very surprised and it's, it looks like uh, Christmas has come a little early this year. Uh, I'm super excited to see what's in store. This is my reaction to Star Wars Eclipse. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Looks like it's going to be a triple A title. Look at the graphics. Do I get some really, really dark Sith vibes from this? I'm loving the soundtrack already. The soundtrack's amazing. My god, look at... Whoa. Whoa. Look at the graphics on this thing. Holy... This is gorgeous. This oh, is it Master Yoda? This is actually gorgeous. Oh, this oh, this must be Jedi then. Dude, my palms are actually sweating right now. Oh, dude, this feels like a, a an RPG game. It really does feel like an RPG game. Trade Federation ship. Okay, okay. So I guess it'll be set during the Clone Wars, then, right? Dude, is, is this a new faction or? Holy crap, this is intense. Who are these guys? Oh. Sorry for that. I got interrupted for a second there. Let's let's rewind it real quick. Rewind it a little bit. This is an insane look into a new game. Holy moly, this is intense. Who are these guys? Ooh, that's nasty. What is that? Clips, fair enough. My mind is actually, actually blown by this trailer. Holy. My palms are so sweaty right now. It is intense. My palms are so, so sweaty right now. But holy, take a look at the graphics, man. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at it. Oh, I'm... Is this like a, a PC game or something? Or is it a console? Look at that. Look at that. That right there. That right there is a wallpaper. That is a wallpaper right there. That's one for the keeps. So I guess it's sort of set during the Clone Wars era, since Master Yoda's here, the Trade Federation is here. 
And this must be on Jeddah. Was it? No, actually, it might not be on Jeddah. Oh, I remember seeing these guys in uh, in Rogue One, if I'm not mistaken. So I wonder who these guys are. Yeah, this reminds me of C-3PO before he got his like gold plating and stuff. Love it, love it. Look at that. That it. Look, every shot, every shot is so incredibly picturesque. It is ridiculous. Take a look at that. I mean, come on. That is a. Uh, so many wallpapers to choose from. You know what? The designs on these ships right here remind me of the um the old design for the uh the Sith uh was it, is it I think it's in Kotor. The the Sith ships in Kotor kind of look like that, like that sort of low V angle. Who are these guys? Why do I feel like something? super new like actually new is coming to star wars like it's like it's as if like there's this pocket dimension in the clone wars era that we know absolutely nothing about and this is it right here that's what it feels like to me and this gives off a lot of those like steampunk vibes like the dust and the smoke kicking up it's amazing look at that look at that oh look 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 I know it's a bit weird, right? But look look at this, look at this. Look at the movement of his muscle right here. Wait, hold on. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look at look at look at the Oh my god. Look at the con like his muscles are contorting and moving. Oh, amazing. The attention to detail is really amazing. And look at so this is definitely a new faction that we have not seen before. It could be the case that they have taken one of the old, like, old Republic factions and readapted it into the canon. I I'm assuming this is canon because that's what you know the more uh, Lucasfilm sort of does uh, in in sort of the modern Star Wars era. We gotta see Confederacy versus this new faction. Maybe they come from the uh, unknown regions. Because I, I honestly, looking at this guy, I don't recognize his species. Like, I know there's a ton of, like, species in Star Wars, but I really don't recognize him. So maybe it's, like, an entirely new species altogether. Uh, or maybe it's... I don't know. It could be the Grisk? They look very different, though. So we know that the, the Grisk was sort of this incredibly warlike faction that sort of fought against the uh, the Chiss Ascendancy. It could be the case that they've, you know, made a, made a sort of emergence here in this particular story. Maybe they readapted it change their cosmetics, change how they look like. And what in the world is this? This is like some horror film. Well, this is a horror show. What is going on? The soundtrack is so unique. It stands out to me like almost immediately. It gives off this incredibly dark and haunting vibe. All I can say is, wow, it's actually super amazing. I, oh, like, can we, do we know if it's like an RPG or if it's an MMO? What's what's going on here for Star Wars? Because ever since EA lost the exclusivity license, they sort of outsourced it to a few other companies. And I believe Quantic Dream is one of them. And I think they were, if I'm not mistaken, developing a single player game. So I think this might be an RPG single player game set during the Clone Wars out of all eras. And not only that, but it's actually offering us something entirely new. Look at that. My goodness. The amount of work that went into this, like what I love about this, it's like it feels it feels very much like Star Wars, but it feels like new Star Wars, if that makes sense. Like it's like something we know, but we don't really know. Like I'm honestly just lost for words. I'm honestly just lost for words. Oh, this is so good. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for this. And I really hope it lives up to the to what it's showing here i honestly do i really do so hell yeah i mean i want this now holy moly that is let's see what the comments are saying incroyable <laughs> yeah it does remind me a lot of these swotor trailers that is absolutely true this exciting dark edge to the trailer and it's gonna stand apart from uh Jedi Fallen Order, and whereas Jedi Fallen Order was more of the, um, it felt more of the traditional Star Wars story. Um, it was a little dark, but it still, you know, it felt like a good Star Wars story, a familiar Star Wars story. This one, on the other hand, throws it right out the park. It does not feel like a normal Star Wars story. 
and it very much feels like a lot of these Sword Horror trailers. That is absolutely true. I can't, I can't wait for the future. Like, Star Wars is just getting even more and more exciting. We've got Book of Boba Fett by the end of this month. We've got uh, Ahsoka coming out. We've got Cassian Andor. And then now we've got a new Star Wars game that's probably a triple A title. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Yeah, exactly. For a second, I couldn't tell if this was a game or show slash movie. Amazing graphics. Absolutely amazing graphics. This looks like some kind of horror stars game. Looking forward to it. Quantum Dream. Quantum Dream. Quantum Dream. Quantum Dream is amazing. Yeah, it does. It really does feel like a horror film almost. Like this, It's like this new species that's incredibly um, dangerous, uh, menacing. And honestly, I don't know how it plays into it. Because we saw in the trailer that uh, they're attacking the Confederacy, right? They're not attacking the Republic, they're attacking the Confederacy. But I wonder what sort of implications this might have on the Republic as a whole as well. And how this will affect the Jedi in particular, because we do see Master Yoda sort of... Yeah, Master Yoda sort of looking at the Coruscant skylines from the, uh, the Room of the Jedi Council, just contemplating about the future maybe? I don't know. That's an amazing shot, by the way. Holy moly. Heck, if they made a film about this using this graphics, I would not mind at all. Like, like look at it. Uh, well, okay, well, that's it for today's video. I mean, that's my, that was my reaction to Star Wars Eclipse. Honestly, it was fantastic. Blew all expectations out of the water. Frankly speaking, I wasn't even expecting it at all. Early Christmas present right here. I'm probably just gonna watch this video like a few more times to get it out of my system, but holy, this is amazing.